Here are my top five picks for free and open source software. Number five, Linux Mint. I chose Linux Mint as my operating system of choice because it was designed with user friendliness in mind, basically as one of its core features. I've used it for several years at this point, and I have never had any trouble at all getting used to Linux Mint coming from Windows. And for my number four pick, I chose the Godot game engine because it is one of the easier engines to use coming from both Unreal Engine and Unity 3D. Because this one also comes with a bunch of free and open source assets, it's a very easy engine to learn how to use. You can use the asset browser to get one click access to projects, and it is super well documented, so well worth a look into if you've never tried it before. And for my number three FOSS pick, I chose Krita, which is a raster graphics engine that I've been using on a daily basis for several years now. It's primarily used for digital drawing and painting, but I have also used it for photo editing before and it's all around a great project. Definitely worth a look into if you are sick of the software as a service model. And for my number two pick, I chose Inkscape, which is a digital vector art program. Just one look at the gallery can show you some of the amazing stuff that other people have done with this program. And for me personally, I had started out learning vector art before I learned raster art when it came to digital art. So I'm much more familiar with this and a lot more confident in my skills using vector art work. One of the cool things about Inkscape is that it has the gradient mesh tool, which a lot of other vector art programs do not. I'm pretty sure Inkscape and Illustrator are the only ones that have this tool working properly. A downside is that Inkscape does not have a CYMK. All right, before we get to my number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. First is Caden Live. I used to use this as a video editor, but I no longer have a use for it as it didn't have enough features for me to use. Next is Audacity and LMMS. Audacity can do recording from microphone and LMMS can handle project management as well as MIDI features. And there is the LibreOffice suite as well. I do use this quite frequently, all of the LibreOffice apps. This is LibreOffice Writer. The only reason I didn't include it here is because it is not something that I use on a daily basis. So if this ends up higher on your list, I understand. Also, uh, I want to mention Apache NetBeans. I wanted to put Adam here, but Microsoft ended up taking it over and then discontinued the project, which is why you never trust these big companies to handle open source projects. And for my number one pick, Blender 3D. I have extensive experience with both Autodesk Maya, AutoCAD, and Blender, but I chose Blender pretty much as my typical 3D app because there was a lot more resources for me to learn this uh, outside of uh, academia. There's also the fact that this can do multiple things. This program can do more than just one thing. It's not solely focused on being a 3D modeling program. It can do modeling, it can do UV unwrapping, it can do texturing, it can do animating, and it can do rendering. So it's pretty much an all-in-one suite uh, programs, and that's great for if you have a less powerful computer. And yeah, that's why this is my number one pick for free and open source software. So those are my top five picks for free and open source software. If you think I missed one or you have your own top five list, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.